Now we've selected the uh, table and field for the big order query, and we've actually named it that, and now we now need to specify the criteria. Um, the way that we do that is the criteria is that the units on order is greater than 20. So units on order, the criteria is that it's greater than 20. And we want to sort this query in ascending order according to unit price. So sort in ascending order, and then we save that. And we could run the query just to confirm. And here we have uh, the, uh, it's in ascending order of unit price. As you see, the numbers are getting bigger and bigger. And for each of these queries, it's always 20 or more. Um, there's uh, nothing that's less than 20, even though there were in the, it was in the original table. Uh, so here's our big order. Uh, finally, query 5, we want to list all the products whose units on order is equal to 0, um, and whose unit price is uh, between 50 and $100, using the product name, unit price, and units on order fields of the products table. We're going to save this query as products costing between 50 and 100. So once again, create a query using the wizard. Um, the query is, uh, we're going to base ourselves on the products table. And we need the product name, unit price, and units on order fields of the products table. And we want to specify that the query is named product costing between 50 and 100. We're going to modify the query design. We click finish. Um, and so now we want to specify the criteria. Namely, the units on order is equal to zero. Units on order, the criteria is zero. And uh, the unit price is between 50 and 100 dollars. So the easiest way to do that is just to write between 50 and 100. Um, and it's, it said and, so they're on the same line. Uh, and we could just uh, save this. We can confirm that it works if you wish. And you see these things, the unit price is between 50 and 100, and the units on order are zero. So it seems to match uh, what we specified in the query. Um, and that's the end of question four.